Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am actually testing out a hair mask for you guys, which is why we are barefaced because your girl's gonna be jumping in the shower in a minute, and I was like, I am not putting on a full face of makeup to immediately take it off. Um, I'm actually testing out this bad boy from Bath & Body Works, which is really cool because this hair mask is only $10.50, and I believe it is also part of their buy three, get three, so that was really cool as well. Before we get into it though, if you aren't already, don't don't forget to smash that subscribe button and join the party. You're already here anyway, so you might as well. And if you'd like, click that notification bell. It will keep you updated on all of the newness and I do post three to five times a week. That being said, let's talk about this hair mask. So first things first, living for this packaging. I just think it's really nice and sleek and I appreciate that on it. Um, they did put like what is in the mask in bold. Um, sometimes when you're shopping for hair masks or skin products, like it, if it's not in bold, you're kind of like, okay, well, what's in it? You have to read everything in the back. Like, I just like that. I don't know, just as a consumer wanting to find something quick and easy. Um, I did actually ask their manager and their cashier, like what they would recommend. And they had both tried this and absolutely raved about it. So I'm really excited to try it as well. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, my hair was jet black and we've started the process of going lighter. So she has been bleached. So, uh, your girl needs a hair mask. This one is the intense repair and it does have coconut protein and vitamin E in it. Um, and you know how bomb coconut oil is for the skin, the hair, the everything. And one thing that you think is really special is it is formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates, and it is not tested on animals. Um, they do have that bolded right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but not tested on animals. I think that is extremely important. I'm gonna read you guys everything that it says on the back and its claims. So split ends, breakage, heat, and styling damage. Sometimes your hair calls for intense repair. Made with coconut protein and vitamin E, this rich and creamy mask with wonderfully fragrant coconut, almond flour, and vanilla works hard to help repair your dry, damaged, or chemically treated hair. So it is actually for chemically treated hair as well. I like that they put that in there um, because sometimes things are just for like dry hair but not necessarily chemically treated and I think that's cool that that is actually part of it. So directions after shampooing, massage a generous amount into wet, clean hair, wait five to seven minutes, then rinse and style as usual, safe for all hair types, including color treated hair. So they did really reiterate that as well. Um, and then I just making sure that you do it in the shower. So I am really excited to try this. I did actually like just unscrew it to smell it and it smells so good and it's just white. Like there's not really any coloring to it, which is nice as well because you don't really want something that has dyes for your hair. Like that's normally not the best thing. Um, I'm really excited to try it though as well because please sound off in the comments if this has happened to you or if you guys have tried this out because I don't know if it's just a weird reaction for me but since I bleached my hair, I bought the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and like my hair itself looks great but my scalp is so dry and like not happy and that's the weirdest thing ever. I've never in my life had issues with a dry scalp and I normally use either the Shea Moisture Line, I think it's called the Shea Moisture Line, um, Garnier or Pantene and I've never had issues with a dry scalp. So is, is that happened to you guys as well? Like I don't know. Um, I need to text my hairstylist and ask her if that's normal but I was really excited when I saw this because I thought this might help with that as well. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that because like my scalp just feels dry and I'm just like, what the hell is going on right now? Um, and then if you guys can see, I kind of have this like half up pony thing because I just wanted it out of my face. Right through here, which is like this section of my hair is really dry. Um, that's literally the only part of my hair that got damaged when we bleached it. The rest of my hair was fine. It was really weird. Um, even my hairstylist was like, I've never seen that, like just this one section. So I'm going to see if it helps with that and makes that section a little bit softer. But as far as the rest of my hair, like it is pretty good. She's a tidbit dry, but it's really just my scalp. And then like this section of my hair that I really need a lot of repairing on because this section, it's got a little bit of split ends and stuff going on right now, but I mean, hello, when you go from jet black hair to start bleaching it to go blonde, your hair is gonna get a little damaged. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just, it is what it is. Um, 
Thank God my hairstylist uses Olaplex and like a lot of really great things. She even has like a keratin treatment that she puts in it. So like my hair stayed pretty bomb, thank God. Um, but I'm just excited to hopefully get it a little bit more repaired. Now I'm not gonna bring you guys in the shower with me cause that's, that's a little, a little TMI. You're not coming in the shower with me, but I will update you guys immediately after um, to let you know my first initial thoughts. And then of course, once it dries as well. Um, and then one thing I picked up too, I just have to tell you guys. So I am obsessed with candles. If you guys watch my videos, I always have a candle burning in the background. I love good smelling things. My apartment has like a thousand wallflowers all throughout it. But this is a fragrance that I just picked up. This is the Lavender Vanilla. And one, the packaging is just so, so cute. It's got gold flecks throughout it. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then it's like this beautiful lilac color or lavender color, I guess. It smells so bomb. And normally I'm like all about the like cinnamon vanilla-y fragrances, but that one I like smelled it and I was like, this smells so good. And I just lit that. I like made my coffee and I've just been having the most relaxing morning and it's been so great. Uh, even put a little, a little self tanner on myself cause your girl was a little pasty. I know that I'm like the palest Hispanic on the planet. I'm aware, um, but I gave myself a little bit of a tan and I actually remember to wash my hands after this time so my palms aren't looking all crazy, thank God. But um, I am going to jump in the shower and use this and update you guys in a few minutes. All right, so we are back. Um, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. My hair feels really, really soft so far. My scalp, I don't know if you guys can even tell, like I know this is weird but like it appears to be a lot more moisturized I'm not seeing any little like flakies or anything in it which is really really nice because like I said the Olaplex was drying out my hair um I did go in with the Shea Moisture brand strengthening shampoo um my best friend Alex actually mentioned that to me um that she's been using and I had picked it up loved it then went to the Olaplex when we um bleached my hair but so far my hair feels really, really smooth. I mean, obviously she's still wet, but um, I am gonna just wring out a little bit more and then I am gonna go in with what I've been using. So I've been going in with this. This is the Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream with Argan Oil. It's a long name, but I've been using this and I go in with a pretty good amount of it because my hair is thick and it's been freezing out with um, all this crazy rain we've been having so I am gonna put that in all over my hair and I love the way that this smells too it smells so good and the in the shower that leave-in conditioner smell freaking heavenly oh my god so really just running this all through my hair and this has helped my hair to not be frizzy like it really really has helped so much and it helps it lay a lot flatter like Oh my God, this stuff is really, really nice. So I am going to let my hair air dry a tiny bit and then I am gonna like finish it off with the blow dryer because I am getting ready to go meet my parents. Um, it is Super Bowl Sunday today and what a time is it right now? It's like maybe 11 and Super Bowl starts at, I think at like 3, 3.30. I am so excited. I love football and I'm just going to have a day with my parents. So um, I do need my hair to dry relatively quickly and it takes forever. So I am going to check back in with you guys once my hair is dry to really just give my final thoughts on everything. Okay guys, so my hair is completely dry now. I just finished blow drying it. Um, that this hair mask is everything. So my scalp is way more hydrated. I'm not seeing any flakes continuing, which I thought was really weird because if you guys can see, we left my natural root alone. Like she didn't bleach that. So I was like really curious as to why my hair was getting dry. I think it, it had to have been the Olaplex, which is really weird. But rubbing my hand through my hair, it already feels so freaking soft like so soft and silky like I didn't even straighten my hair I just blew it dry straight but oh my gosh and that one section I was telling you guys about it's this section right in through here and it already looks a lot silkier this stuff is 
everything. Oh my God. If your hair has been dry and you've been needing something to help it, oh my God, guys, this is definitely shy approved. This is amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend this to everybody I know. Um, this, like, I wish you guys could feel how soft my hair is and like, I can just run my fingers through it so easily and it like looking up close, like it looks a lot healthier. Like you can just tell. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you guys are curious about this hair mask, definitely pick it up. It is gonna help your hair so much. Um, if you've been having issues with a dry scalp, highly recommend it. I feel like it really just, I mean, already like one wash and like no flakes in my scalp feels moisturized if you know what i'm talking about like if you've had a dry scalp like you'll understand what that means anyways uh i'm gonna stop rambling this is incredible i think i'm gonna swing in and pick up some more so i can test out more for you guys and keep you updated on that anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye